there you are where you been how are you all doing so um it's been a minute since i made a video because uh i've been tied up in this property and i know a lot of people have actually reached out and said you're right absolutely um i've been extremely busy with my day job as well um and um with this kitchen house project it's uh, full steam ahead at the moment and in this video i'll give you a good update on that because i sort of think when the video comes out it might be a, a little bit ahead of what you see but you'd more or less be up to date then with what's been going on here um but no uh, i've been really good uh, just had to keep focused and moving on because i'm involved in quite a bit of the work here and um also at work there's a lot going on there with a few changes and stuff so i have to prioritize that but um in terms of uh content um i've actually been putting together a little bit of a compilation which i'll be dropping extremely soon so for the van fans there'll be just a little um teaser video that you might enjoy dropping out really soon and there's a few other things in the pipeline as well that are now actually very very close because we're mid-april already um, I brought the van onto the uh, summer wheels. I did do a bit of an Instagram post and uh, that went, uh, I got a few of you talking, um, black or silver if you saw it. But I am actually, um, I like both wheels. I know a lot of people opinion, have an opinion of one or the other as though you'd sit on it for good. I just, I prefer to have a little change and so, um, it's just interesting to hear what you guys think, but um, one of the things I'm keen on is sticking to, a, to what I like, and that's the silver on in the summer currently. And um, from sort of November to February, I usually run those matte black wheels. It's nice to give the van a change as well, because it gives it a completely different look and uh, breaks it up. So it stops you spending money where you don't need to. Funny sort of way. So having two sets of wheels, I've only got two now, I think. Yeah, I think we're we've got two in stock, two sets in stock. It's a sensible thing to do because actually it stops you thinking, oh, I need to do something else and so on and so on. So there's that therapy session coming through that, uh, funnily enough, when you fork out for two different sets of wheels, I think it actually saves you money in the long run because if you're anything like me, which a lot of you are, you get a little bit bored with looking at the same thing. You think, ah, oh, what can I get now? What can I get now? And I know you do. So I've seen you on the forums. I've seen you in the comments. So don't try and say it's not you. Um, but those people who can kind of withhold continually spending, I'm sure they're doing better in life. <laughs> anyway, um, it's looking good on those wheels. I also had a whole set of tires installed because I think when I took the Navis wheels off last year, I thought mm, two different sets of tires. Um, one were extremely cheap. The other ones were top of a, a budget and possibly bottom of a mid range. I've gone just for something a little bit more mid range, but again, I think uh, it, we're not talking about Prelli P1s or anything because as long as I know that the wear factor is good and it's load rated, I'm happy. Um, we're not racing the van and so on, but they were better tire. I've had some better tires installed, all four. I just said, yeah, let's just put a set of four on, then I'll put the wheels on. So pretty pleased that everything's ready to go. Um, so I'm not daily driving the vehicle, as you know. Um, I tend to use it like Friday, Saturdays, Sundays, and uh, it sits, uh, Monday to Thursday. That keeps it running, that keeps everything going, that keeps the battery and all of it good rather than just parking it up long term. It does get rotated so the battery gets charged and so on, so it's all good. Um, but yeah, back on the house um, project, I'll take you through in a minute and give you a real quick update in this vlog of what's been going on, where I'm at. Um, builders are physically starting um, Tuesday two days from where this is being filmed. So I've had to clear, um, and that was one mammoth task because getting everything, when I already had a full single garage, and you see these pictures of how the double was, um, 
it wasn't tidy by any stretch, but there's actually some organization behind the mess. So it's a lot of stuff to shift and it all needed to go into the single and a bit of a clear out. So we've had a skip, got rid of loads of stuff and really had a good sort out in the single so as everything can go across and we're there now. The garage is clear while the bikes are in there and the utility i'm going to be ripping that out today so that's completely empty we took the tiles off as you can see this by this I took the tiles off and um cupboard wall cupboard came down and so on and got rid of as much as i could last weekend and now i'm going to take the rest of it out so temporarily you're going to have to relocate the washing machine where the dishwasher is in our current kitchen which means the dishwasher is going bye bye today um, and one or two other bits in the kitchen because i need to reduce this whole side down because there'll be a back door going in where that window is so um, that's all got to happen today and uh, after i finish filming this vlog that's what i'm going to be up to so you see i've been busy um, actually have recorded certain bits which i'll be bringing to videos later on it'll all make sense when i strap it together but i just thought you might like to know as a number of people on insta and on here um have um, reached out and said is everything good because we haven't seen a video in a while um haven't been able to get to one or two of the shows i think lowdown had a show a week or two ago which would have been real smart i would love to have gone to that but there was just no way and I'll be honest, I don't know what I'm going to be able to get to through this process now until into July, really. Um, I have got some stuff in the pipeline, but as for ad hoc shows and things like that and just being able to drop and go, it's not like really going to be likely because I've got to sort this out in my, um, my downtime which I will be filming. But don't panic because uh, the channel is still mainly about the van content and those shows and it will return to that once I've got this build done. So uh, no need to dip out and unsubscribe. I'm not changing course as I, as I remind. But I uh, just thought you might like a bit of an update because I haven't been, I haven't press record on this camera in a few weeks now. And uh, sometimes that can send the wrong message, but absolutely not. We're really excited. It's all going good. The van looks great. If you're not following me on Instagram, head over to at T6 Pro Project and give us a follow on there because I do, it's much quicker and easier to just upload something so you see I'm still alive and um, uh, on there if you are not following already. And um, similarly, if you are not subscribed to this channel, um, get that out of the way now and join in because uh, there's going to be plenty of cool content to come very, very soon. Uh, as far as a few, couple of three weeks and we've got something in the pipeline that we'll be recording that I think you're all going to love as well. Should we go and have a look what I've been up to? Come on. Right. Starting in here then. Say hello, Freddy. Um. Okay. All right, so as a reminder, that wall is coming back to there. So we're going to widen out this. Uh, we've been making holes in ceilings to see which way the raft, the joists are going. Fuse box is in, as you saw in the last video, and all this is we're boxing up and getting out and stuff. So um, Mrs. F is cleaning the oven racks and everything else because these appliances, which aren't very old, actually are all getting sold and moved on. We're buying new ones. And um, back door is going in. So today's job, this, I've got to rip this out. So we're coming back to about here for now to survive uh, on things so we can get these tiles off and get this ready for bricking up for a new back door to go in there. Um, plan is a boiler is going to go over here in this corner, brand new boiler. It's currently out there. It's an external one, but there's going to be bifolds on that wall. And so that a brand new one's going to be in here. There'll be a sink and laundry appliances and a broom cupboard. And then there's going to be a stud wall going in here and floor to ceiling cupboards there. Um, through this door, this will be a new door. Uh, this is all getting knocked out. So as you'll see, our utility been smacking it about already. We've got no fronts on here and all the tiles are off, cupboards gone. 
the old boiler pipes are exposed. There's those all coming out today. So we can block that up and this wall comes down, this wall comes down, all of this is out. So through here was the supposed mod shop, which has never came to be. And as you'll see, look at that. Did you, uh, look at that. <laughs> We're knocking it about a bit, it's all right, don't worry about it. There's where the old fuse board used to be. That was a tiny little fuse board compared to the new one. More inspection holes and stuff and all that. All this ceiling's coming down. That's the builder's job. Uh, so that wall's coming out and the bifolds will be on the back. That's getting blocked and bricked up. It, it just looks at a hedge anyway, look. Perfect for a garage, but not so good for a kitchen. That's gonna have a four berth window in it in the middle. Sink, nice big island here in the middle. And uh, the units running round and then the tool, tool units here. I'll throw up a, a, an image of what this looks like. Just drop out here. So this is our little garden, which is gonna be the pretty garden where mums and dads sit and not the children. And so uh, already started, look, I made that new fence. Uh, so now we'll be bifolds across there and a uh, new back door going in here. This boiler goes and it'll be inside. So, uh, go and see what the boys are doing, shall we? Let's have a quick look. Jungle, we, we've got to do a bit of gardening. We've been busy. Uh, what's been going on in here then? Okay, all right. So kids are playing some kind of camping stuff because we haven't been on any trips probably. But the new fence, I don't know if I've shown you that inside. Well, there's the new fence. Uh, that was the one I did, that's the one they did. We got a bit, a bit of turf we need to do and stuff because we've got a lot more garden back now those conifers are gone. What they've been doing there? <laughs> okay. Looks like they've been making some little house for some little creatures by the look of it. What we got here? Uh -huh. All right. Bit of a mess out here because it's been really wet. And um, so here's the vehicles. Okay, so we see we're running the silvers. Look, brand new tires. I've still got the old stuff on it. Um, these are mid-range, bottom, bottom, bottom of the mid-range, I would say. Um, you're looking at about 100 and, 130 quid or so a, a, a tyre. But as you'll see, they've got plenty of rubber on them. So I've done all four. Look. Hey. See? I'm, I'm literally busy. <laughs> oh my God, look. Ah. So yeah, and we've got uh, Skip here, and uh, this will be going like from next week onwards. All that's happening. So there's the tour, guys. Back to the studio. All right, that's a wrap for the video. Um, hopefully, that's been good to bring you up to date. I'm going to be recording more of this journey. Um, we're really excited to finally be getting on with this. Uh, so apologies once again that uh, the van content's gone a little bit quiet. It will come back, I promise. So stay tuned for the next video and thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and share because it really helps the channel grow. And that's what we need to get that message out. So see you soon. Take care. Oh, by the way, 13,000. K okay, subscribers, thanks very much. That's really appreciated. And channel is just steadily growing. Uh, thoroughly appreciate everybody that does watch and share these videos. Uh, I know a lot of people say that, do they mean it? I don't know, but I do, so thank you. Anyway, I'm out now. I've gotta go and rip out all that stuff you just saw. See you later.